Well, this is Pat Walker at Mission Winners, doing a training coaching video for everybody. Uh, every once in a while I get questions uh, from our members, but also from people on the big Twitter, Twitter feed about the max list. And I'd just like to slide this in here and show this to you. This is the max list, the Mission Winners max list. I've had this list together, portions of this together, for well over, oh gosh, 12, 13 years. These are my go-to stocks. Now, you can say, well, Pat, some of these stocks are newer. They didn't exist 12, 13 years ago. You are correct, but I've added them since then. All right? Case in point, Tesla didn't exist 13 years ago, but it's on the list now. Anyway, here it is. This is the max list. What are max list stocks? Max list stocks are stocks that are huge institutional names. They are best of breed. What they do, they do better than anybody else. Case in point, you're going to do an internet search, you're going to go to Google. Goldman Sachs, institutional bank. Going to get a movie? Netflix. Electric cars? Tesla. Social media? Twitter. Facebook. Amazon, as I stated. Apple. I mean, look at the names, folks. These are, these are the franchise names. This is the context I always give at the meetups that I lead. And it's really simple, folks. If you're a mutual fund manager and your portfolio does not own these stocks, there's a possibility you're going to be fired. They're the names, the must-own names. Now, is there periodically rotation in these names? Yes. Hold on just a second. Yes, there is. Is there rotation where something can come out of favor for a while? Well, sure, but they can come back. They come. This stock got killed before and it came back. All right, Netflix, here they are. Now, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna slide this out of here and we're gonna take a look right here. Here's Apple. Max list stock. We own this down here. It's a max list stock. Look at the trend. All right. Amazon. Several times we've owned it and there was another spot right here that it was picked up on. It's a max list stock and it takes off. Alibaba. We owned it here and rode this trend. Are we in it now? No. But I'll ask you, can you see a spot? This is what's important. It's not just giving ideas, it's education. Can you see a spot where if it pushes through those tops, it might be in play again? Well, sure, going across here. Look, I even have a price alert set. There you go. Baba, it's a max list stock. It's a franchise, Baidu. There's no clean entry on Baidu. There's Facebook starting to pick up again. We owned Facebook from before. There's no real spot right now, but maybe there will be. Goldman Sachs is a big name. It lifted through here. Look at this. Check this out. Look at that. Connect the tops. Boom, boom. And it lifted through those tops there. Then it fell, but for a short time, it made a move. It's an institutional name. Google. We own Google here. We own Google here. It's lifting off. It's a clean pattern. It's a max list stock. Netflix this is the last time we bought it right here. We're still in it. This is the eight period exponential moving average. It's still working, all right? About 40 points. Sell it, why? Limit your losses, not your profits. Let it work. NVIDIA, right there. I'm gonna take this off here, I'll take that. You see that little line right there? Watch this, I'll do that for you. And I'll even enlarge it a bit. Look at this, is that joys of modern technology. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Look at this, lifting off the eight day moving average. Boom, look at the volume pickup, right there. It's owned. And it's lifting up 40 points. By the way, this isn't like, oh, bragging. No, no. It's the max list stocks. It's good stuff to focus on. Square entry right there. And it goes up. And guess what it does? It bounces off the A period exponential moving average twice, letting it work. Tesla, own it down here. I'll spread this out for you. Right there, we own it at 338. It's just going up 500 points. We're still in it. It's walked up the eight day. This is a great study. I'm going to show you something. I teach this to people. If you take a close look at this, I defy you. I dare you to find one day that this stock closed below the eight period exponential moving average. You won't find one. There you go. Isn't that exciting? Kind of like that. 
Twitter. Twitter's doing nothing right now, but eventually maybe it will, and we'll be ready. Visa. Let me shrink this a bit. Visa. There's an entry spot right here. Now, we don't own this one. Okay, this is one we don't own, but it's had a nice trend, as has MasterCard. They're, they're, you're going to charge something. Who are you going to use? Visa and MasterCard. You're going to post something on social media. You're going to use Facebook and Twitter. You get my points. This is what we look for. Buy some Amazon. This is the max list right here. The max list. There they are. Love these stocks. Know them inside them out. And we talk about them and give recommendations on them constantly. By the way, I will tell you this, and this is the honest to goodness truth. You take a look at like Apple from down here. This whole move, this whole move, never once looked at a five minute chart. Never once. Why? Why? Tesla, 500 points. This whole move, never once looked at a five minute chart. You want to go for the bigger moves? Take your time frames out a little bit. Weekly, daily, hourly, 30 minutes sometimes, maybe 10 minutes, maybe. But other than that, just let it work. Let it trend for you. Anyway, showing it again. That's the max list. Talk about these all the time at our meetings. Analyze them. And what do you want to do? Ride trends. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Just take a step back and it will make it easier for you. Easier for you. So thank you very much.